hello 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 to all my friends hi friends good morning or good afternoon or good evening whatever time you may be here with miss shannon i'm so glad to see you happy new year happy 2024 the last time we saw each other was in 2023 friends we made it to a new year it's a new year a new beginning i'm so happy you're here with me are you ready all right friends let's get started are you ready we are going to spell january together and count from 1 to 15. let's begin good morning boys and girls today is January 15th, and it's Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday is the day we celebrate him. 2024, let's spell January together. J-A-N-U-A-R-Y, January. Friends, did I hear a little knock? I think someone came to visit. Let's look, oh, here, Oh my goodness, it's Mr. Zebra. Hi, Mr. Zebra. Oh, no, Mr. Zebra asked if we forgot about him. No, we didn't. We did not forget about Mr. Zebra. And he's saying hello to all of you guys. Oh, sure, absolutely. Mr. Zebra asked, can he help us count? Absolutely, he can, right friends? Mr. Zebra can help us. Let's count to 15, are you ready? Okay, guys, help me, Shannon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. We made it to fifteen days in the month of January. And guess what, friends? Today is. Monday. If you said Monday, you are correct. Let's sing. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. Today is Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. All right, friends. If today is Monday, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. If you said Sunday, you are correct. Let's sing. Today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday. Clap, 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 clap. Today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. Oh, okay. Well, Mr. Zebra said he's going to go. Thank you, Mr. Zebra, so much. And we're going to finish the rest of our calendar. See you next time. All right, friends, let's finish up. If today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday, what will tomorrow be? It begins with the letter T, and T makes the T sound. T, T. Tuesday, if you said Tuesday, you are correct. Today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Good job, friends. How many days are in a week? Did someone say seven? If you said seven, you are correct. Let me see your seven fingers. We have five and two, seven all together. Let's sing. Days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 How many days are in a week? Did someone say seven? If you said seven, you are correct. Give yourselves a clap and a pat on the back. You did amazing. Okay, friends, now that we know there are seven days in a week, we're currently in the month of January. Friends, what season are we in? Did someone say winter? If you said winter, you are correct. And winter begins with what letter, friends? W, and the W makes the what sound. So together we say winter. And in the winter, we see snow. Guess what, friends? 
it's snowing. Mm -hmm. It is actually snowing here on Monday, January 15th. Guess what, friends? It's snow. And I mean, it's coming down and stick it on the ground. I think in December, Miss Shannon says she wanted to see snow. Guess what, friends? It's actually snowing. It's snowing. It's, it's, it's snowing. All right, friends, we get to change our weather calendar. And guess what, friends? Oops, that silly arrow. We get to stick it right there on snowy. It's cold. <laughs> we definitely need a sweater, a jacket, a hat, right? And a scarf right behind me, Shannon. It's cold. And guess what, friends? It is officially snowing. And we're happy about that. Okay, friends, guess what? We do have to go over our months of the year. How many months are in a year? 12. There are 12 months in a year. And with our fingers, we can put up 10 and 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. Are you ready? There's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. All right, friends, those are the months of the year. Before we get started reading our story, and today we are going to read a story about Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, friends, we are going to sing a song, stretch a little bit, dance a little bit. Are you ready? All right, our first song is The Wheels on the Bus. Are you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. How about the baby? The baby on the bus goes wah, 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 wah. The baby on the bus goes wah, 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 all through the town. The mommy on the bus says shh, 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 shh. The mommy on the bus goes shh, 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 all through the town. How about the driver? The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. One more. What about those wipers, friends? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. All right, friends, now that we finished with our song, we are going to see who's here today. Friends, did you make it here today with Miss Shannon? Yes, you did. Who's up first? Ladies, of course, if you are a girl, stand up tall. Let's see if you made it here today. Are you ready? Show Miss Shannon your super moves. Are my girls here today? Are my girls here today? I jump up, down, and all around. My girls are here today. Hooray. My girls are here today. Good job, girls. Thanks for helping Miss Shannon. All right, boys, it's your turn. If you are a boy, stand up tall. Say, Miss Shannon, I'm a boy. I'm here and I made it with you today. Okay, friends, are you ready? All right, boys, show Miss Shannon your super moves. Are my boys here today? Are my boys here today? Jump up, down, and all around my boys are here today hooray my boys are here today go boys good job all right we made it all here today are you ready together let's jump up and down and all around we made it here today oh we made it here today a jump up down and all around we made it here today Hooray, we made it here today. Good job, friends. You did such an amazing job. One more clap and a pat on the back. You did amazing. You did amazing and you are amazing. Friends, speaking of being amazing, let's say one of our affirmations together. Say with me, I am amazing. Today will be fantastic. One more, I am special. 
today will be incredible. Good job. Today will be incredible or tonight, our night will be incredible, right? We are here together. I'm so glad you're here with me. Okay, friends, let's stretch a little bit, wiggle a little bit. Are you ready? And then we'll get started on our story. Let's begin. Arms up, 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 up high, as high as you can. Friends, reach over. Don't fall. And reach back, 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 stretch. Okay, take your right arm. Are you ready? Right arm to the right. Then left arm, left arm to the left. Okay, give yourself a big squeeze. Pretend it's Miss Shannon. Big squeeze. Are you ready? Okay, stretch to the right. Don't fall. And stretch to the left. Don't fall. Put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your shoulders. Touch your elbows. Touch your knees. Touch your shoulders. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Really fast. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Whew. Can we do it really slow? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, speed it up. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, head, shoulders, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <gasps> All right, friends, take a deep breath. One more deep breath in. <sighs> okay, friends, grab a drink of water if you need to, and we are going to begin our story all about Martin Luther King Jr. Let's begin. Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? Martin's home was very happy. He had a big sister, a little brother, a father, and a mother, and they were all kind to one another. Martin was filled with love. Martin also liked being at church. He learned to get along with everyone there and he made many friends. Martin was filled with kindness. At home and at church, Martin was taught to love everyone, but not everyone was taught to love him. One day, Martin's best friend said he couldn't play with him anymore because Martin's skin was a different color. Martin was black and his friend was white. In Martin City and in many other places, black people were treated unfairly. <clears throat> it made him sad and sometimes angry. Martin wished that all people would be kind and fair to one another. He studied and he learned and he thought about how to change things. When Martin grew up, he became a reverend and an activist. He was a leader in his community. When he spoke, his words came from his big, strong heart and filled people up with love and kindness. Martin said that everyone should be treated fairly and that we should never hurt one another. He said that we could change the world peacefully. Not everyone wanted things to change, but lots and lots of people agreed with Martin. Martin showed them that they could be brave and peaceful, even when they felt scared or angry. Together, they worked to show everyone else that things needed to change. One day, Martin gave a very big speech about his dream of freedom and justice for all. Many people were there to listen. Others watched him on TV. The world still remembers what he said. I have a dream that one day we will stand up for freedom together. All of God's children will be able to join hands and sing, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Every year we celebrate Martin's birthday to remember what he did. He filled people's hearts. 
He worked hard for change. He made the world more fair. And he did it all because he loved people. So today we celebrate his birthday. Happy birthday, Martin Luther King Jr. There's a picture of him. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that book about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. All right, friends, we are going to create a penguin craft. That means we're gonna use paper, glue, a crayon to create a penguin. All right, friends, are you ready? There's a penguin right there in the corner. Can you see him right there? All right, friends, grab your markers or crayons, your glue, and let's get started. First, Miss Shannon is going to take I have a round piece of paper here and it's a white round piece of paper. We are going to create the top of our penguin and we're just going to put it right there at the top of our blue construction paper, just like that. All right, friends, next is the second part, which will be the body of the penguin, the head and the body, it all connects. But as we're creating, Miss Shannon wants you to take your glue and put glue all on the back of your circle here. This will be the body of our penguin. Okay. And just like that, we have the body of our penguin. And you can use paint or a crayon or marker. I'm using the color black. And Miss Shannon is just coloring all around the outside of the penguin's head, just like that. Friends, have you ever seen a penguin before? Maybe on TV or maybe in real life, right? Miss Shannon has not yet. <laughs> I would love to soon. I'm sure I will go to one of the amazing places in our beautiful world and see a penguin. All right, friends, because the outside of a penguin is black. See that there? And we're just gonna color that just like that. Okay, and next we're going to give our penguin, it's a circle beak, right? A penguin has a beak. It's, we're gonna give this penguin a nose, if you will, <laughs> right? But it really would be a beak. And we're going to take our crayon. That circle is just gonna represent beak. <laughs> okay. And you can also, if you want, Draw a triangle like that. Can I show you guys? See there how it's orange? Okay. And are you ready to create the rest of our penguin? Machine is going to put it back here. I'm going to scoop Mr. Polar Bear over. That way you can see the penguin. All right. Next, we're going to add. next two parts to our penguin. Have you ever seen a penguin wobble <laughs> and flap? Guess what friends, even though penguins have wings, they don't fly. Did you know that? There we are. Okay, his web feet. <laughs> They're orange. Are you ready? Miss Shannon has two here. And again, we're going to take our glue and you can always hold your construction paper pieces in your left hand if you're right-handed and your glue stick in your right hand or the opposite, okay? If you're doing this craft with me. And friends, you just slide the glue right on just like that. And then we're going to add them right to the bottom. 
and smooth them on, okay? All right. <laughs> There's our penguin. I hope you enjoyed doing this craft with Miss Shannon. Remember, you are awesome. You are intelligent and you are amazing. Until next time, have a great rest of your day, friends. So long.